what's up so today honestly i'm so tired of my place being so dark even though it's super bright outside but what you gonna do okay so today what i'm gonna do is honestly clean up my place very messy so today i kind of want to just like really declutter the place like i have just like boxes laying around i in order for things to actually like i don't know be organized i have to go through every little thing and i'm tired of having a cluttered place i think honestly i just grow out of the place last year when i was um, living at my other place and i didn't really get that much stuff like i don't i don't know i didn't like i wasn't fully i was fully living there but i all my stuff was at home it was weird like half my clothes were at my mom's and then maybe like not even not even half were at my actual place this time around i brought all my stuff so i feel like i just it i don't know i just try to clean it up but it doesn't work but anyways i'm gonna try again today i'm gonna do the laundry i'm gonna put some clothes away and then i'm gonna vacuum even my cut kitchen i feel like it's a little cluttered there's things on top of the counter i just want like a super clean counter anyways i went to dollarama let me show you guys what i got so i went to dollarama and walmart i had to get some stuff so i'm gonna quickly show you guys what i got i ran out of cotton pads so i got those for like my toner this new toner that i've been using that i actually just used on camera is the pixie glow tonic exfoliating toner um i think i've told you guys i've been just bringing it out like right here in this area which is so annoying to me but you know what i think it might be i've been using this thing to remove like any baby hair and stuff on my face and i feel like maybe that's what's causing like ingrown hair but it's not ingrown hair it's like actual pimples so i don't know and then i got this they had it i was gonna go to walmart and get it anyway this is like the bleach powder because my um the sink in this place i don't i don't think this place is super old but i guess like the my unit hasn't been like what is it called like the upkeep hasn't been the best since it's been made um and i just feel like the grooves of like the counter like the faucet and stuff and even in the washroom like no matter how hard i try to clean it it just does not get clean so today i'm gonna actually like spread this over everything and then get a toothbrush and scrub it now i understand why my mom at home is always like cleaning and trying to clean and complaining about it because it honestly always feels like nothing is ever clean so whatever um i got these matches i didn't need matches at all but i love the smell of matches come on oh they're pink that's cute they're pink i don't know if you can tell oh it smells so good and i don't know why every time i smell it it reminds me of pakistan i don't know why i think over there maybe every time like the light went out we would always put a candle on first and then i don't know it just reminds me of pakistan so it's great um got that one i already had one of these but I can't find it. It's probably in the laundry pile somewhere. I just have to find it and I'm tired of like, I don't know. I just need like a kitchen towel to have on hand, especially since I've been cooking more, like actually cooking, not like warming up food. I've been actually cooking. I made sag the other day. Did I put that in a vlog? I may not have put that in a vlog. So if it's not, then I'll put it in this vlog. But I made sag the other day, like from scratch. I'm talking about I went and got the mustard leaves and everything that goes in it. And then I also got this from Dollarama. I love the smell of the snuggle, like the linen one. So I like to keep this in my bedroom or in the washroom even. And I always had one in my car, but it ran out. I should have gotten two, but that's from Dollarama. And then Walmart was right next to Dollarama. So I picked up the St. Ives apricot scrub. This I only use for my legs because my legs they get really really like um not dry but they get bumpy because i don't know why actually but they get bumpy so i feel like the exfoliation helps and then i also got i picked up two more of these elf um makeup sponges if you guys haven't tried these you need to try them they're only like let's see how much they were in canada they're only 7.90 so they're eight bucks in canada but in america they're probably like five bucks or something but they're so good they're better than beauty blender or i shouldn't say better but they're just as good as beauty blender i guess i can't talk i already have one in there but i got one extra because i want to give one to my mom as well so yes okay so should i show you guys what i went to sephora i might as well show you guys what i got from sephora right yes let's do that instead of putting in a whole different vlog right 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 let's do that hold on so for sephora i actually went there yesterday um 
I, I haven't been vlogging too much, which I'm sorry, I just... That's a whole different topic of when I start vlogging very consistently, bad things happen. Like <laughs> either I get injured, someone really gets injured in my family or something, but I've noticed when I post a lot, something really bad happens right after. It's weird. And then it takes me a while to get back um, onto it, but that's just, that's a whole different story. It's okay. So um, I went to Sephora yesterday. What I was trying to say with that last little spiel was that I'm actually, I've actually been walking every single day. The goal is to hit 10,000 steps, but I end up hitting more. Like yesterday, I walked from my place to Sephora, which is about an hour walk each way. And I ended up walking 23,000 steps, which is good. So I've been walking everywhere, especially in Toronto. Like if you live actually in Toronto, I'm not talking about like Miss Saga or like the suburbs but like actually in the city it's so easy to walk to places compared to driving because finding parking after is just like a whole mission anyways i went to sephora yesterday um and i bought a bunch of stuff that i'm really excited about since i've decluttered all of my makeup and like given it away and now i have some makeup left which i feel like i should go back through because I hate to say this, but nothing is working for me. Um, I got some new makeup. I got the Dior Air Flash and stuff. But um, other than that, I've been finding that my makeup has been like creasing a lot here. It's just not sitting well on my skin. Either my skin texture has changed since quarantine started which was back in march or whatever but i've just been i've been trying to get new stuff honestly so the first thing i got was this hourglass this is called the airbrush concealer i got it in the shade fawn and it looks like this so I got this because I needed a concealer that wasn't too thick and like too cakey if that makes sense. Like I've been using the Tarte Shape Tape forever and even the um, Too Faced Born This Way I really like as well. And the ColourPop one, all really good found, uh, concealers but I've been finding the Too Faced and the Tarte for some reason they've been creasing so much on me and they aren't, I don't know, they used to work amazing. So I got this because it, they, the girl there said that it's to, it's supposed to be very like hydrating but still really good coverage and you guys know me I have super dark eye bags under my eyes. So I got this and I do have the Hourglass Vanish Stick Foundation which I should try. It's somewhere in there. This is what I mean with when I wanted to like make my makeup collection smaller is because even though I have I have like probably over 50 foundations still that I kept for myself going through there I'm just like I don't even want to deal with it so I just end up buying stupid stuff anyways speaking of foundation didn't need this but I got it because everybody says such good stuff about it it's the Pat McGrath skin fetish sublime perfection foundation I got it in the color um medium 16 now in sephora if you go there right now you're not allowed to test the testers like you're not even allowed to test it on your hand so they have to either match you but we know that every time people match us in the store i don't know if it's the lighting or something it just ends up being too dark i don't know about you guys but it ends up they end up matching me too dark so what i did was on sephora's app if you go to this foundation or any foundation they have a little section called shade finder and if you already know your color from another foundation like i know too faced born this way medium beige no natural beige natural beige is my color if you click that it'll tell you exactly what shade to match it with and mine was 16. so it look it comes in like super bougie packaging and it looks really promising i tried it on my the back of my hand yesterday and it's supposed to be like a buildable coverage and um but also like hydrating if that makes sense so i tried it on the back of my hand yesterday and i really like the way that it looked so i'm really excited to try this out i might do like a li little get ready with me not a little but a big get ready with me maybe tomorrow or something like that with this foundation and all of the makeup because i'm really excited to see how it actually lasts on my skin another thing i got was this Giva she prism um prism matte finish enhanced radiance loose powder four in harmony um it's basically a four in one uh loose setting powder so if you guys can see here there's like four different colors in it there's like a pink section a blue um sorry a little a white a beige a more yellow and then like a more pink section and i've heard really good things about this i have the other one that's like purple green it's more of like a color corrector one but i've heard such good things about this one like the skin tone color one so i picked it up because same thing i used to i still love my huda beauty wherever it is huda beauty uh banana bread setting powder but for some reason it's caking up underneath my eyes maybe it's too drying for my eyes i've heard really good things about this so same thing really excited to try it out 
and let you guys know what I think of it. Then I picked up this Gucci Bloom. Um, it's a perfume. You guys know I love the scent of roses. Smells so good. Anything that smells like florally. I've been I this year I feel like I switched more from roses to gardenia. Gardenia or gardenia? Gardenia, I believe it is. Um, I have a candle that's gardenia. I just like that smell a lot. But I I smelt this. It smells really good. It doesn't smell like a fake rose. Like you know, sometimes it can smell too fake-ish, but it smells really good. And honestly, this one I don't know why I bought because I don't know about you guys, but I I don't wear perfume at all. I have perfumes. I always forget to wear perfume. And I have this weird fear. Not fear, but like this weird thing in my head that if I accidentally put on too much perfume, then you're like that person that has too much perfume on and you can't breathe around them. So that's why I got the roller ball because I, I like to put the roller ball like right on my wrist and then behind my ears and then I leave it like that. I don't ever reapply it. If I remember to, honestly, I forget to apply perfume. It's not like in my regime i guess you can say then i got this thing this thing t um tiktok made me buy it's the first aid beauty eye duty niacinamide sound out your words brightening eye cream and this one i got because of tiktok because i've heard such good things about it and it's supposed to be a brightening eye cream i actually have it under my eyes i don't know if you can tell but it's a it's like a tinted it's very lightly tinted it doesn't actually give you any coverage but then it has little specks of like glitter in it i don't know how to describe it but it's not glitter but basically when light reflects on it off of it it does make your eyes look like they're more bright almost done almost done i spent too much money on here then for my you know how sephora has like birthday gifts uh for my birthday gifts i picked up this briogeo duo this is the scalp revival charcoal and coconut oil micro exfoliant shampoo and then this is the deep conditioning mask um these will probably well the mask probably only one go and the shampoo maybe like two goes i'll let you guys know because i've heard about briogeo before but i just haven't ever really went out and tried it but then if you guys are really honestly looking for a proper shampoo and conditioner that really works like that really smooths out your hair and does wonders it's the um olaplex number four and number five the shampoo and the conditioner oh my god this literally is the only shampoo and conditioner that actually when i use it and then i get out of the shower even if i don't style my hair i can tell that like it's like let's say one strand is like you know all split ends it feels like it just smooths it out my hair is so much more smooth and it just looks healthy if that makes sense so i really olaplex has sent me the first batch that i got and i saw the price and i was like fuck but honestly my hair needs it you guys know my hair has been through some shit so i didn't mind repurchasing these because i do see a difference when i use this compared to any other shampoo so if you guys have any other dupes if you know of any other dupes let me know because these are like 35 bucks each so then i went in and i bought the velour eyelashes these are in the style poker face um let's see if you guys can see that these are it's like they're like poke they're like pokey lashes which i guess the name is nice you guys know i love the shop sansa beauty 905 lashes those are my favorite favorite all-time go-to lashes which i actually have to ask Sana for more because those are really good and then the last thing i got is a sephora blush i've been i love blush i think we know this but i especially really like orange blushes um i feel like they're very i don't know they just look very pretty on the skin and they just they look they look really nice so this one when i tested it out when i came home because you're not allowed testing it you guys see how just like a slight like flush of color i really like that and it doesn't trans like once it transfers it's like there you know what i mean and i know i probably have like a oh i do so then i have this nars um liquid drop thing what is this luster liquid blush and it's in um kind of like a tinted orange let me show you guys it's more of like a neutral it's not really like a orange i'm actually gonna put it under this i mean on top of this so this is like the NARS. I hope you guys can see that. This is the NARS and then this is the Sephora collection one. Oh, let me tell you the color if you do like it. Uh, this is in Fascinated N29. I'm going to put these away and we're going to start cleaning. What I'm going to do is though, all my new makeup, I'm going to keep in this Sephora bag. Because I, every time I get new stuff, I forget 
to use it so i'm gonna clip this here and keep it right here that way i know i'm gonna use it the next time i put on makeup now let me get my stuff together and then we're cleaning the entire place okay so i have my laundry going and now i'm gonna scrub a scrub a scrub this in with my wet sponge and then let it sit for a bit and then clean it some more this good I'm gonna feel so good after this. I can't believe that I'm so excited to get my kitchen cleaned. I need to start now. That way when I have a bigger kitchen, I know exactly what works and what doesn't work. Oops, I did not want to turn the water on. And then I also, oh yeah, by the way, I have fruit flies. I was mentioning in Nuzara's vlog and he was like, don't tell people you have fruit flies, but come on. I can't be the only one that just like leaves food out and then you know, fruit flies just develop there. I can't be the only one that does that, but whatever. I googled it, and they said that the best way to get rid of it, or them, naturally, or whatever, is to use apple cider vinegar. But yo, my fruit flies are some smart people, because they just kind of like sit on top of the saran wrap and don't go in the holes, and then some of them go in the holes, but there's still like a bunch. They were sitting up here, but I guess because I'm close to the sink. I might like put another cup over here, to kind of try to speed up the process, but now they're not leaving me alone. All right, very happy so far with the progress. I moved the the coffee thing I had here because I don't really drink coffee anymore, and this looks pretty clean. Don't mind the floor, I still have to boom that. These stupid flies, look, there's one right there. I don't know if you can see it, but come on, man. Oh, they're going in there, good. There's so many of them. Anyways, <laughs> I'm gonna, uh, next is vacuuming. I have to vacuum the rug. And I always get questions on this rug. And I think I have, might have mentioned the name of it in a vlog or even like an Instagram post somewhere. But I don't remember now because I was looking for it last night because some of you guys were asking me on one of my Instagram posts. I got it from Wayfair and I just searched up Moroccan rug and this had come up because it's really cute, right? It's like white, but then it's also very colorful. So if I find it, I'll let you guys know the name of it. But I just searched up Moroccan rug because that's like the theme of this. So now let's vacuum. Oh my God. I don't even care. Why do I care? It looks so nice now. I mean, there's still some stuff just laying around, but those are my pants. Uh, my socks and then the kitchen's pretty clean this is the only thing that's like just stays messy I don't know what the hell to do uh, my filming equipment that I haven't used in uh, months because I haven't been filming for my anything actually oh my god I figured out where <laughs> the, the, the fruit flies are coming from it wasn't even food that I was leaving out you guys I'm an idiot I got sweet potato that, um, oh, you saw one of those up there. I got sweet potatoes that I completely forgot about. Ugh! And I just happened to look up there because, I don't know, I was looking for the garlic. And, um, okay, so now I'm just gonna, we figured it out. I figured it out. So now I know why, even though I have the apple cider vinegar out, it's not working. So I'm gonna grab those sweet potatoes and throw them out. Never, I thought, I like sweet potatoes, but I just, I forgot to use them. And now I'm scared. What if there's other bugs up there? I'm gonna do the thing where I like stick my hand in the bag and then like flip it inside out. You know what I mean? One of these things. Ew, they're all soft. I don't wanna do this. Ew, 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 ew. Ew, I figured it out. Okay, so now there's no way that there's anything else like rotting up here I got um so now I cleaned it up uh I don't know I don't think garlic does garlic cause um fruit flies to come I don't think so right but what I'll do is I'll like take I'll just put them in a ziploc bag anyway my food is here let me go eat those are for you thank you thank you <laughs> it smelled like just that's a beauty beauty blender, you guys. This elf beauty blender I already told you about. Beauty blender, not for you, sir. Look at this, you guys. We just got this cake delivery. Look how cool these are. They're handmade, and I want to show you guys the bottom, but you can't see it. But anyways, this is like um, a baby shower. It's a boy, so we are just having a party today. I'm gonna lift, leave the information of the cake maker down below. Anywhere in the GTA, you guys. Look how cute that is. Mom made this, but now we're eating it. It was for a party, but we come first. Yum. Careful with the air, it's gonna get blown away. 
Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, we got someone carrying them too. So many balloons! They're so cute, we got the cutest ones. Oh my god, the other one. Oh no, it's flying away! I'm so scared we're being not gentle enough with it. Please just stay inside, sir. You can come out very soon. Oh, perfect. Perfect? Right? Top one first. Watch your head. Oh my god! So we went to Party City. Mm -hmm. We got a dad hat. <laughs> Zaina, we got these that we got to hang from the ceiling with our beloved duct tape. Oh my god, that's cute. <laughs> dad hat? Yeah, dad could be. And then we got this baby boy just to like the banner. That's cute. And then, oh, this is cute. This is like for the baby. You lay them down and then you highlight the month they're at. Well, oh, after it's born because she's yeah. so close to giving birth she's giving birth like in a few weeks right two weeks yeah yeah so cute because you can put their date uh what time they were born how much they weighed when they were born it's a chalkboard and then you can put it like outside their room oh i hope it doesn't i mean they're really light they're not gonna fall okay cute oh it looks really cute now with the top like from back here with the little decorations and then when we bring the helium balloons back in here, so that'll be so cute because we have these balloons here. We're taking a nap, guys. This is our party. This is this is how we party. <laughs> this is the most epic party ever. <laughs> on a pillow and a bed. Napping. Nap. So cute. Biryani is a here. Yeah, we just set it up. Where's the biryani? Biryani, 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 biryani is under here. It's still warm. It's still nice and warm in here. Damn. <laughs> okay, I'm eating carrots and ranch, but I'm gonna turn off the vlog here. Osama is gonna be filming the actual surprise reaction of their friends, so make sure you guys go watch their channel. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.